Hello, and welcome back to another edition of Carrie's Gardening Channel. So today is May 27th, 2019, and I wanted to give you an update on how the uh, cucumbers and the hanging baskets are doing. And I'm also going to be showing you in this video how to hand pollinate your cucumber plants that you have growing in your greenhouse. And I also recommend hand pollinating them for the ones that are growing outside too, to ensure that you get a harvest. So um, this is one of my cucumbers that I'm growing in my hanging basket. And uh, this one here is a 10 inch container. It has two plants in it. I did a video on my channel for the experiment that I'm doing for growing uh, cucumbers in the greenhouse and hanging baskets and containers. So you can check that out. And I will be doing a playlist on this as well. So this is one of them over here. And you can see this one over here. This is one plant in here. And you can see how big it's growing. It's kind of uh, overcast out today, so the sun's not really shining too much. And then here's the other basket that I just put together. See how much this one grew from what it was in the video when I showed how I put this together. Now these are getting fed different plant foods, and uh, these do get fed once a week with uh, some Epsom salt. So uh, this right here is one of my uh, cucumber plants that I have growing in a container. And you can see down here that it is starting to bloom. And I'll show you the other container over here in a moment. And this is one of my other cucumber plants here. Now this one here is blooming. And this one has both the male and the female flowers on it. And I will show you how to tell the difference with it. So, um, for hand pollinating your cucumber plants, what you want to do is you want to get a paintbrush, which I will grab that real quick. Okay, so this one here is the female flower. Now you can tell this by it has the cucumber fruit on the back of it. You can see that's your little cucumber fruit right there. And down here is one of the male flowers. And you can tell that because there is no fruit on the back of it. It's just a plain stem attaching to the main plant. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take my paintbrush and you can get these. Um, I got these in just a set and uh, they work really well for pollinating stuff. They're not that great for um, painting but they're really good for pollinating stuff. So what I'm doing is I'm taking the paintbrush and I'm just going right in the center of the cucumber flower on the male one and I'm getting the pollen on and then I'm taking it up here to the female ones and we're putting the pollen right in the center and I will be going then to the other plant that's blooming that has the male flowers on it and I'll be getting pollen off of those because some of those just opened today so the pollen is nice and fresh Oops. So I'm just taking the pollen, Sorry. put more on because there's another female flower over here, okay. and I'm just pollinating in the center of it. Putting the paintbrush in there, you kind of twist it back and forth. So that's how I hand pollinate my cucumber plants, and this helps to ensure that your flowers get pollinated. Because we do get some of the bees that come in here, but um, I just want to make sure that they're getting pollinated so we get a harvest and get the cucumbers off of them. So this is the uh, Tender Green Burpless Cucumber, and this is an heirloom variety. It is really good for uh, making pickles. It did make pickles for us, and it has the really thin skin on it. So um, the uh, juices from the pickles absorbed in very nicely. Now one thing you want to do with your plants is these little runners here or little tender these little tender rails here they're kind of trying to grow wherever they want to and I want them growing up this cage so I'm just kind of taking them and putting them around the uh, posts of the cage and I'm also putting them around the ring of the cage so that they have something to hold and climb onto for support. 
Now, the ones in the hanging baskets, um, I'm not going to be able to do that with because they're going to be trailing down. So this one here and the other one on the floor in the container, I have them trained to grow up. And by putting them around like this, it kind of helps keep the plants up and they're not falling over. It helps support the weight of the fruit and it also helps with um, just making sure that nothing's sprawling all over the ground or your floor. And I don't want them to grab a hold of anything else and try and climb it, so I'm putting everything around the cage itself. So um, when these start developing into the cucumbers, I will come back with more videos and I will show them to you and I will show you how to harvest them. Now, one thing with your cucumber plants that you want to make sure is that you keep them watered. Um, what happens when your cucumbers start getting bitter is they get water and then they stop getting water and they start getting water again. So keeping your cucumbers nice and moist will really help with making sure that they stay sweet on you and they don't get bitter. So if you like my video, please like, comment, subscribe. If you have any questions, you can leave them below and I'll try and answer them for you. Please don't forget to hit the little notification button. I'll tell you when I put a new video on. You can also follow me on Twitter. I will have a link down in the description for my Twitter account. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a nice day. Bye.